Boop. 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 <laughs> You're just throwing boops out there yeah, whenever boop. they fall in. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more bookwas. And White Devil Shabash has a button obsession. Get spoiled, bitch. <laughs> the some boy the, and his toys. Some of that, too. Uh, yeah. Turn the volume up. Uh, Hi, mom. Uh, I'm talking to your mom. Uh, She's <laughs> somebody. I saw a comment. And I was like, um, "This is so unprofessional for a channel with 1.3 million subscribers." <laughs> You've been around here long enough. <laughs> what about us as professional? The only time we really are professional selves is when we're interviewing people that are deserving of the professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Other than that, we're no. idiots. No, absolutely not. Do you expect a, a channel as stupid in the title to have professionalism? Yeah. No, you little. Uh. <laughs> and, uh. Bakwas! No, wait. Marachuk! Today, we got a uh, village cooking channel. Are they gonna cook nipples? I hope so. This is Chicken Momos. Mm, me like the Momos. I, love, I like your Momo. I love the chicken de Momo. The pollo de Momo. Here we go. That's not chicken. Welcomes you. Whacking their meat. <laughs> That's mincing. The chicken, they're mincing. Oh, they're mincing. Wow, they're not kidding. They're gonna turn that into the kind of chicken in a chicken croquette. Oh, that. That's gross to me. I know it's just ground chicken, but yeah, it's, that's all. That's what they've done. They've done. They don't have a food processor. It just They're, looks gross. Yeah. Manjala karma, manjala harmi kira. Turmeric. I love the sound of a peacock or a peahen making that sound in the background. Why aren't they telling us? The... I think they will when they drop one in there. I know. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. 
Or at least I think I'm I'm right on that. I could be very wrong. You could have said yes, yes, yes. Flip your mom over like that. Super, super, super mom. Mm, it's like Play-Doh. I want to eat it. Hey. Yeah, I want to eat it. I like raw dough. You ever eaten raw dough? It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Especially cookie dough. Yeah. Uh, A beautiful fold. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. He was thanking you for your compliment. Oh, see, they are nipples. What a pretty momo. A momo sounds like something you call your grandma. Oh, momo. Very cute name. Had some delicious momos with Indrani and Kolkata. Yummy. They were so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta steam them. Wow. This, this just takes some time. I bet those are hot. Good grief. Put it away. Mm. Oh my word, that looks good. Glaze me in that. Pour that over my nipples. Probably hot oh. though, I bet it's like spicy. <coughs> what gives you that impression? The chilies? Mmm. That looks delicious. Mm. Those are massive. Like they look smaller, but in their hands. Yeah, they, like, oh, they, they, they look tiny. It's a multiple bite thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh. 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 Where a level and the bottom the porta on the colic to the sapna put it, Ade Marike, Adala Adauda, Kara Sarma, Takali Charo, Set Sapumbo, where a level momos Kara Sarma. He's like, I don't like momos. Yeah. 
Momos. Mo. Momos. Didn't even come up. Were you looking for Momos near us? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you. I'm sure some restaurants have it. Like Indian restaurants. Yeah. But since it's a... We'll get dumplings here. It's a northeastern dish. And we have like Chinese dumplings. Right. And other Asian Which is country dumplings. Quasi comparable. But um, since most of the restaurants here are North Indian, like North Indian is in Mumbai, Delhi, yeah. Punjabi even, mm -hmm. as opposed to Northeastern, which I bet is even less represented than Southern. Yeah. I bet. Um, and that's, I believe that, uh, I believe Momos are like an Assam. I don't know their origin. Yeah. Yeah. You guys let us know. Uh, I'm, cause I, I think I remember people saying they're from Assam and you had some in Calcutta. Though. Yeah. Really good ones. That was one of the first things Indrani wanted to take me to was a place that served Momos. They were so good. Um, which they're, they're really close to Assam up there though. In, in West yeah. Bengal, right? Very close. Are they neighboring? Or are they? Assam's above them. Are they one, like, are they connected? I believe up? it's one state above. They're connected? Yeah, I like think they so. they share a border? Yeah. I think so. Um, God, that looks so good. Oh. I could eat them right now. I love a good dumpling. Uh, Fried or steamed. Yeah. Like, they're they're both great. There's these uh, Chinese ones called pot stickers. Yeah. That are so good. Yep. And then there's obviously, like, soup dumplings. And then... And they're not as easy to make as they made that look. The stuffing them up and to the, the, the moving them around is not an easy thing to do necessarily. One of my favorite southern dishes is something called chicken and dumplings. Yes. Uh, and it's not as complicated as any no, of this. Not it's at all. Because the dumplings themselves are just dough. They're, they're just the like, rectangular dough that, that they put dropped into, into like, the, the thing. Soup it's so freaking good. It's a southern thing. <sighs> I, you probably wouldn't like it. It's probably bland to you. But <laughs> in, uh, yeah. But for me. They'd be like, where's the, where are the I seasonings? Always, where's the flavors? Yeah, I always wanted it. Growing up, I grew up in the South, and so that's probably one of the most uh, interesting things is to watch someone who's Indian try Southern food for the first time. Probably appreciate and the fact that it's a comfort food. Certain types of Southern, yeah, food. but a lot of Southern foods are are pretty bland compared yeah. to compared yeah. to Indian food. Unless you go to like Southern, as in Louisiana, right? Uh, the, that the whole have, other ball of wax. They have Cajun. No, uh, we're talking like Georgia, Georgia, even in Texas, Texas. Um, Alabama, yeah, South Carolina. Those are very cream-based, cream, corn, flour, um, like grits. Pretty simple. That's just <laughs> I love grits. I do too. They're just they're bland. Though. What do you put on your grits? Any nothing? nothing? Well, butter and salt. Butter and salt. I put butter, salt, and pepper. Yeah, that's it. But they're good. And then like where I'm chicken fried steak. Where I was yeah, where I was born, they're famous for like shrimp and grits in South in South Carolina. Well, Louisiana food, because there you get into the Cajun stuff. Yeah. And you get, that's a whole other ball. There's a lot more spice. A lot of flavors. Like there's something that you would enjoy is gumbo. Oh, my. If you've ever had, uh, especially Louisiana stuff, which is what I grew up with my, my stepdad. He's the one that made it. Uh, and he grew up in Louisiana. Um, and so the the gumbo he makes has a lot of flavors. A lot of spices. flavors. Uh, I think Indians would enjoy gumbo. Anything Cajun is coming from that part of Louisiana where you're getting Cajun chicken, Cajun shrimp, and it's it's spicy, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. gumbo is a. I, I I think I'm realizing as we're talking about it, I feel badly that I haven't taken Andrani to a place to get really. She's had it, but we haven't focused on getting a good gumbo. And I know she would. I don't think I love I've, it. I don't think I've ever had gumbo at a restaurant. No. Not even in, not even like crab uh, Joe's Crab Shack in Texas. Who gross? Um, no. Well, you're not. I whenever I had gumbo, it was homemade. Well, then you're you're, you're like I've great never gumbo. actually had a tamale from a restaurant. I understand because homemade tamales are it's just my step my stepdad's family is Mexican, um, and so every there's Christmas no comparison. they made hundreds of yes. dozens of tamales. And that's that's a not just a Mexican thing. We have a friend from Guatemala and yeah. they make Guatemalan ones every Christmas. Yeah. And so that's the only time because my stepdad is like I don't eat any tamales at restaurants. And so that's just I something it. I brought into my life. And so well, I, get I, it. I I will never eat a tamale that's not made by at least a homemade 
one. Why would you? Yeah. I've had them in restaurants. They don't come close to homemade tamales. Uh, nothing does. Usually. No. Nothing comes no. close to homemade food. But if you like... But gumbo is the same way. I've never had a store or a restaurant gumbo. Ever. Well, if you've always had it homemade, it's going to it's gonna fall short. Uh, Steph, so Steph makes it now. Um, and we haven't made it this year, so we need to make it. Um, I, that's It's time now, too. I should get a gumbo recipe, and it's time. I may even do it tonight. It's time to make some chili. Because it's yeah. been cold enough at night now. Same. Chili sounds great. I bet I've had some... Some I, I've never actually loved chili like other people love chili, but my wife's chili is really good. When you eat it with cornbread, do you prefer sweet cornbread or or unsweet? Sweet. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> sweet cornbread. Sweet cornbread. Anyways, I'm hungry. Let us know what other uh, videos we can react to down below. Just...